waiting for pre-calculation to complete. What happens after pre-calculation? Greetings! I've just finished the rough cut from my garage studio setup video. Now the last step is to make backing music. I want to start with something simple that tests out most of my equipment so I can start getting a feel for the workflow of this space while still producing the track fairly quickly and easily. So today we're going to make a lo-fi vlogging chill study beat hip hop relax track. I want to make a two part loop that consists of four fundamental elements. So we'll start with low fi drums, bass guitar. You can have some sort of jazzy acoustic guitar. And then to finish it all off, I feel like you always need some sort of like bell or harp melody line. So yeah, those will be the four fundamental elements of the song. Since this song is for a video about the garage, I might as well go ahead and make it in the key of G. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and make the chord progression garage. I guess the first part will be Gara, and the second part will be Raj. <laughs> the problem with that, of course, is that R isn't actually a note, but if we kind of like cut off the bottom half, that kind of looks like a B, right? So we're just gonna call that B. Chord progression will be Gabbage. G-A-B-A-B-A-G-E. So that progression would be G, A minor, B minor, A minor, and the second progression would be B minor, B minor, G, B minor. Kind of cool. But since this is a chill study beat, we're not going to play any normal chords. We're only going to play jazzy things with sevenths and ninths and stuff, which would make it. And. Jazzy. We're gonna go ahead and make a drum set. Something like lo-fi-ish. All right. Let's go ahead and set a tempo. These sorts of songs are, they're generally slower. Let's use 86. Let's go ahead and pick a default kick patch. Uh, ooh, chill. I need to pick a different drum kit. Something that sounds a bit more lo-fi. And I'm actually going to change this snare drum. The lo-fi hip-hop songs tend to have more of a rim shot. I'm going to drop that down a whole octave though. Cool. I like that kick. Sweet. Alright, so let's go ahead and record a little loop. And then we'll add snare over it. Now we'll add kick. We're going to cut this loop out. That will be the base of our drums. The next step will be to record that acoustic guitar part. These are just going to be really chill strumming patterns. So I've apparently got to record into Ableton, but that's all right. export these so I can pull them into Reason. I think it shows that I have a seven-year-old laptop trying to run all of this. Hopefully I'll be able to get a new rig one day. That would be nice. I couldn't get it to work while recording video, so I ended up just going ahead and recording acoustic guitar. I did two takes of each part, and then I did one panned left, one panned right for each portion. And then I did the same again for the bass. So yeah, here's what we've got so far. Here's the second part. Please don't crash. 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 It crashed. <laughs> So everything keeps crashing, so I'm gonna try and redo the whole setup so that I can actually film this. No, 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 no. It works. Oh, that's great. I should turn down this though. 
Last thing I gotta do is this bell harp melody thing. Let's go ahead and create bell of some variety. Either a bell or a harp. Let's try a tune percussion. Circle bells. Ooh. I like that, let's go ahead and record it. All right, I'm happy with that. Now the next step is to actually give it that warbly sound that's very famous for the lo-fi songs. Right, let's go ahead and add in the effects that we want to really send it home. These lo-fi hip-hop songs tend to have tape distortion, so we're gonna try and emulate that with some of the reason effects. We're gonna start with the guitars because I feel like that's the best way to dial in the sound we're looking for because it got a mix of the rhythm, the melody. It's, it's a good middle ground to start with. I think it's the echo has a warping function on it. There we go. I like that, we're gonna keep that. <laughs> For the bells part, I think we should do something similar. You know, not too similar. I'm gonna give it the same warble. I want everything to kind of still line up a little bit. Ooh, I want to give it a bit of a creepy reverb before going into the effects. Give it that kind of glow. It sounded good. I'm going to take a little bit off that. It definitely needs to be a little less bright. I think I'm definitely happier with that. All right, up next will be drums. I do, I like this VHS. It's really harsh compression, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna take a risk and do a reverb on it, a really tiny reverb. Again, we're just picking presets because this is meant to be a quick song. Actually, I'm gonna start with the reverb. I think starting with the reverb with the drums and then putting it into other effects is gonna make it sound kind of weird, but in a good way. We're going for weird since this is like a lo-fi song. Let's start with that, let's see how that goes. And then we'll put in the VHS. You yeah, see that's really bringing out, it's bringing out the reverb. Honestly, I want something a lot shorter. I'm gonna try a short room. There we go, I like that a lot. Then we'll add a warble like we did with everything else. Ooh, accident. Let's try and dial it back. I'm not really liking how that sounds on the drums, so what we're going to do instead is immediately do another Audiomatic. See, that's much better. No, we're just going to dry it out a bit. And finally, I'm going to give it that final... I don't think I like that either. I'm going to get rid of that warble on the drums. It just doesn't really work as like I was hoping. I like this. It's maybe not as dirty as it could be, but it, it works. Let's go ahead and test everything together, see how it sounds. Sounds pretty cool. Last step, of course, is the bass. Bass, we don't really need to do all that much to, to be honest. A short reverb into a warble, probably. Just do an ambient studio. That would probably sound good. I'm gonna really dry it out. I guess we're gonna give a tiny bit of warbliness. I think I might just leave it like this. It doesn't really need much. I mean, everything else is pulling the weight of the like sparkly ambientness. I'm 
happy with that. Now I just gotta mix it better. I'm gonna make mix downs so that I don't lose as much processing power trying to film this and then do mixing and mastering from there. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more of a, a header on it with that drone track so I can fade it in rather than just jumping right into it. I think 20 seconds should be fine. All right, let's mix these down. New tracks. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and just slap on some preset patches for mastering. Boom, bass, drum, bus. And now let's master it a little bit. I can go ahead and just guess that we're gonna need to drop this down to right here and on this down to about here. Honestly, there's not much else left to do. I'm just gonna add a few reverbs in to kind of blend it all in together just a little bit. I'm gonna do three, I'm gonna do one center, and then two with pans. Create send FX, center. Then we'll do a left, left. Let's go ahead and pan this over. We're not gonna go all the way over because the only thing that's going that wide is the acoustic guitar. We'll just put it into kind of like a little taste. And then the right one, let's create send. For these two pans, we're gonna do just a simple ambient, something named after a studio, where we'll actually just do the one named studio. And then this one we picked First Avenue Sound, and then the center one, we're gonna do just the first room. Hopefully, hope it's great. So these are panned correctly, that's good. Now we're just gonna mix in everything. So drums, I want going to all of them. Bass, we're just gonna put in the center. Guitar is gonna go into all of them. Melody, let's do all of them. This might sound super weird. But... in the left channel, we can definitely do that. Very subtle. But now we'll do the right side. This one's kind of hard to hear. I think I'm happy with this. I think that might be it. Maybe good. And this is gonna take forever. Cut to Ableton. Ableton. Welcome to the garage. It has literally been years since I've had a garage space and I'm very, very excited. All right, I'm happy with this. I'm gonna bounce it and print it. Before I play the finished track, I wanna say thanks for tuning in. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe for future projects. Links are in the description for the original video that this song was made for, as well as a SoundCloud link where you can listen to and download the full track. I'll catch y'all later, now please enjoy the finished tune.